Are you ready to go broke? I know I am. Let's start. What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things eDrum related, so subscribe, press that bell icon if you haven't already. Today is an in-depth tutorial on how to go broke buying an electronic drum set. Thank you, Josh, for suggesting this. I previously made a video about how to not go broke buying an electronic drum set. In fact, that one's probably worth your time. Go watch that one. This video is a complete waste of time, but this video is probably gonna be a lot more fun to watch. So I know you automatically think, Justin, I already know how to go broke buying an electronic drum set. Just go buy the current Roland flagship set. That's all you need to do. And you're not wrong. I mean, go buy a Roland TD50KV with the optional kick drum shell package. That's gonna run you just under eight grand. And that's a lot of money. I know I'd have to take out a giant loan in order to buy that, but you need to think bigger. Look beyond what you see. So let's start off with a nice base package. For me, I would go look at the top of the line drum tech drum set. Now, if you don't know who Drum Tech is, they, they're based out of Europe. They have a really nice YouTube channel where they show off their products. Basically, what they do is they take drum shells. Uh, in this particular case, they're made by Sonar. And then they fit electronic drum triggers in it. They put mesh heads on it. They put roll and cymbals on it. They put a roll and drum module on it. And bam, now you have an incredible acoustic looking electronic drum set. And in this case, it comes with the Roland TD50. And this drum set is just over 9,000 euros. And in dollars, if you converted that to US dollars, that'd probably be a little bit closer to $9,500 once you did the currency exchange. So you're looking at this drum set and you're thinking, Justin, this is it. This is the pinnacle of electronic drums. What else could I possibly ask for? A lot. I have lots planned for this video. First thing I would do is help upgrade the sounds. The TD50 is a beast, but we know there's better sounds out there. Of course, you can go the VST route and I could put a giant gaming laptop on this list and load it up with Addictive Drums and Easy Drummer and Superior Drummer and Steven Slate Drums. I'm not gonna go that route. I'm going drum modules with this video. For me, I would add on a Pearl Mimic Pro drum module. That'll run you an extra $2,200. And now you have all kinds of inputs. Since the Roland Digital Snare only works with the Roland TD50, so you keep the TD50 and then you add the Pearl Mimic drum module, you'd probably use the Pearl Mimic for a lot of the cymbal sounds. I really like the Pearl Mimic cymbal sounds. So now we have a lot more sonic options here. Since this is theoretically my kit and I have a bottomless bank account, I would definitely want a secondary snare. I think this Pintech snare right here would do the job very nicely. It looks incredible. Trigger accuracy is really nice. And it's about 430 bucks. Add on an extra snare stand. Uh, the DW9000 series would work very well for this snare. That's an extra 200 bucks or so. Now it's time to start cymbal shopping. Metal electronic cymbals are the most expensive in the e-drum world, so that's why we're buying metal cymbals. I prefer the rubber cymbals, but in this case, we're going for looks and high cost. So the Joe Becky cymbals will work very nicely here. Let's pick up a 13 inch and a 20 inch. The 20 inch is a three zone ride cymbal and they look very, very nice. We don't wanna get all of our cymbals from one place. We need to mix it up. So let's go to a different website, ASL Revolution. What this guy does or whoever owns this thing, he takes acoustic cymbals and transforms them into electronic cymbals. So let's pick up a couple of Sabian eight inch splash cymbals and move on to another place. The next website to visit is smarttrigger.com. We wanna get a 14 inch China symbol. These guys either licensed or made the Elisa Surge symbols and the Pearl E Classic symbol. So when you buy a smart trigger symbol, it's as if you're buying both of those symbols as well. And this, this uh, China symbol looks really, really cool. Let's pick this up. The next website to go visit is Field. As far as acoustic to electronic drum conversion websites go, this website is the absolute most expensive one on this list. As far as full-sized electronic drum websites go, this one is definitely the most expensive I've come across. But we're not gonna buy the, the, the shell packs from this place. We've already picked up the Drum Tech drum set. What we're here for is more cymbals. Their cymbals look absolutely incredible. They have three series to pick from. You have the Classic Series, the Raw Series, and of course, the Brilliant Series. They all have those different looks. I really like the Classic Series look and the Raw Series look. But we should pick up a symbol or two from each one of those series. So I wanna pick up the 20 inch Raw Ride symbol with three zones and choke. That brings it up to 450 bucks. And then of course we need to pick up a symbol or two from the Brilliant Series and the Classic Series. Other than a lot of symbol stands, which of course we need to buy for all the symbols, and a hi-hat, we'll probably get that from the Raw Series again. I've been studying this drum set I've been creating out of thin air and I've noticed something. We need more cowbells. So let's go over to joebecky.com again and pick up two. 
One will pitch up and one will pitch down. We can put them on opposite sides of this drum set. The next thing we need to pick up is a mallet cat. This thing's only like 2000 bucks, something like that. And that way we can do killer xylophone solos. And of course we need a stand to hold that. And I'm also thinking that we should probably pick up the Roland SPDX sample pad. We need that so we can really lay down some killer samples and loops and all that great stuff. A couple of Roland bar triggers to go along with that. And of course the stand for the Roland sample pad SPDX. Now, most of us like to sit down while we're playing drums. I know there are some weird guys that actually stand up while they're playing drums. That that's, that's very odd, but you need a drum throne. And at first I thought I found the perfect one. Drum workshop has a gold plated, drum throne. It looks very comfortable and it's running at about $840. I thought I had found the perfect drum throne, but I was definitely wrong because the Porter and Davis BC Gigster drum throne is definitely the way to go. Also comes with a butt kicker included just under a different name. And this thing is thicker than a stack of dictionaries. So I think it's definitely the way to go. The next thing we need is a kick drum pedal. I got to give the edge to the Trick Pro V1 Bigfoot kick drum pedal. This thing is a beast. It costs a thousand bucks and it feels amazing. I didn't play this exact kick drum pedal. I played like the little step down version of it. So let's move on. What else do we need? What can we possibly get for this drum set? I'm not a guy that likes to have drum shells all around me. I don't need like a complete cage of drums. What I have right now is nice. I'd rather have more cymbals than more toms. This drum set is too epic to be sitting on the ground. It needs to be floating in the air. So what we need to buy is some drum risers. The Control Acoustics portable stage needs to be in the equation. Let's go buy four of them. That's about just under a thousand dollars and that will give us a nice big surface to put this giant drum set because it keeps growing. And of course we need to get a couple of DW drum rugs. We definitely need to pick up a fog machine. Actually, we need to pick up two. I've found the Ultratech Battle Fogger would really really fit the needs of the situation. And of course, we definitely need lasers. This time, I decided to go budget. American DJ makes a really nice laser for only about 80 bucks. Let's just go buy two or three of them and just surround the drum set, buy some poles to put those lasers on, and I think we'll be set. You can't play a drum set without drumsticks, and we need to go all the way. So I'm gonna give a budget for about $500 for drumsticks. Buy some 12 packs of Vic Firth drumsticks. I love Vic Firth 8D. Pick up some Promark drumsticks, some Vader drumsticks, just all kinds of different brands. Now we need a stick bag in order to store maybe four pairs of this, but then we need something even better to store the rest. And I hunted down the best. I found the Elite Core Audio OSP Pro Work Case. It has seven drawers and a table that flips out. This will definitely cover anything you need. The table will be great because we need somewhere to put those rubber rolling symbols where we're, that we're probably not gonna use most of the time. And then of course we can separate the sticks by you know width and all that stuff. That way, whenever a friend comes over to play this drum set, they can go to the drum stick case and find the exact pair of sticks they actually have at home. But what good is an electronic drum set if you can't hear it? So I think picking up some Mackie Thump 18s would definitely do the trick. Now obviously I could go overboard here and go buy an incredible sound system, but I think this would definitely suit our needs. This would power an entire band very easily and it's not that expensive. It's only like $2,500 and of course we definitely need a nice mixer to tie all of this together. I mean do you really think that you can have like a Pearl uh, Mimic Pro drum module and a Roland TD-50 and then the Mallet Cat and then of course the Pearl or the, the, the Roland SPDX sample pad. You think you can tie all that together by itself? No, you need a mixer to tie all that together and then send signal to all of these speakers we just bought. So I think an Allen and Heath ZED 22FX mixer would definitely fit the bill. And finally, the last piece. I know what you're thinking, Justin, electronic drums are meant to be played in silence. So I totally agree. So we definitely need to pick up some nice headphones. The Sennheiser HD 700 audiophile headphones, these come with their own headphone amplifier, their own analog headphone amplifier. It's running at about 1500 bucks, but I think this is a great investment and it will, it will really bring out the rich tones of the Pearl Mimic drum module and the Roland TD-50 drum module. I think maybe if we buy a couple of extra rubber cymbals from Roland so that in case we wanna practice in utter silence, and we don't wanna hit the metal symbols, then that would be a good thing to do as well. I had so much fun making this video. I don't even know what the total cost is yet. I mean, I'll have to go into the editing in Premiere Pro and then add all this stuff together with a calculator for a long time to figure out what the, 
final total is. I'll probably have it floating above my head right now. Thank you so much for watching. This video was totally a waste of your time and useless, but I think maybe you had fun watching it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. I will see you guys in a few days. Now, I'm probably missing a lot of stuff, like dozens of little improvements that I'm sure you're thinking of right now. So please leave that down in the comments down below.